So I say, hey guys, it's Klaus. Welcome back to another video. Are you guys looking for the Holy Grail? You know, that, that video that tells you exactly where to go at the beginning of the game so that you will automatically win? Have you been searching for that? Have you watched some of the Unicom videos, you know, where they show you? Uh, all you have to do when the game starts is rush to this position where you can dominate and then they spot uh, 7,000 uh, HP worth of assist and they do 10,000 damage and they shoot over and over and over again and remain invisible because they have a 12 skill crew and they're playing against Muppets uh, that they know are Muppets because they run XVM. And that's why they went there. And then you play the same tank on the same map and you go to the same position and you get killed immediately. And you realize that those Unicorns didn't tell you that. If they were on the opposite team, there is another position that could easily counter the position you went to. And then you go and watch that video so that you can learn the counter position. And you try that and you get killed immediately. Because there's other positions that could easily counter that position. And then you realize that it doesn't matter where you go or what you do. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. It all depends what the enemies do. So what do you do? How do you get better? Do you watch a different Unicom's video where he shows you a new overpowered position? He shows you that 1 in 10,000 game result where he remained invisible and did 10,000 damage because the enemy teams played like Muppets? That could happen to you one day. Or you could try it 23 times in a row and get killed in the first 30 seconds and rage quit and uninstall the game. So if you're a regular schmo like me, maybe it would be better to view things from the switcheroo point of view. Uh, maybe it's better to just realize where not to go, not to do anything stupid. How to not be completely, totally useless and pathetic for your team. Why don't we watch a video where we can learn that? And I happen to have two games that I can show you where we can discuss map positioning from a no bullshit, not Unicom, regular schmo point of view. Let's see if we can learn something by watching these two regular guys try their best. And the first guy, the tough cookie, is driving his Tiger 1. And here he is ready to start the game. And he immediately types in chat, LOL, noob, stock, top tier, auto loss. He's certain that they're going to lose this game and he immediately commands his teammate in the KV-1S, follow me, fall back, I know where to go. He is in a stock Tiger as top tier and he knows exactly what to do and that's retreat immediately. There he goes, he runs away immediately at the beginning of the game and falls back to this bush here, leaving the northwest corner completely empty Except for the KV-1S who is calling help, help, negative, says the tough cookie. It's Loza Bombarder in the KV-1S is being told to fall back, fall back. He replies, help, help, no, fall back, help. They're in disagreement. The tiger changes bushes and continues to tell his KV-1S counterpart heavy to fall back, fall back. What are you doing up there? The KV-1S is perplexed. He's wondering, why? Why should I fall back? This is a game, and I've spawned, and I moved towards the enemy. To which the Tiger-1, the tough cookie, replies to the KV-1S, Have fun! The KV-1S is up there by himself while the Tiger has retreated. Now, it is my opinion, and the opinion of many, that when you play on this map, the team that wins the high ground... Uh, in the northwest part of this map, where the KV-1S is right now, the team that moves there in force and wins usually then controls the high ground and can swoop down and dominate the game easily. So what do you think is going to happen in this game? Well, let's watch. The KV-1S is continuing to call, help, help! Well, there's no one there to help you. You are by yourself. So what's happened here so far? The top tier tiger has retreated and is wallowing around trying to decide which bush to sit in here, being completely ineffective and doing nothing. Meanwhile, the KV-1S has died, and so have five of his teammates. How did the other five teammates die? Where are you all, the KV-1S? <laughs> well, they're not where you were. <laughs> the tiger finally gets a shot and decides to retreat further. Good job, idiots, says the leaf blower. <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> Are you learning anything about map positioning? Trust me, trust me, there's things to be learned here. Look, the tiger types in chat. You see why? <laughs> Make a stupid team, replies the leaf floor. You see why? <laughs> the tiger did not move forward <laughs> to help the KV-1S. He did not move forward to try and control the northwest corner of this map. The KV-1S died. And the, t the tiger one typed it. You see? That is why you do not move forward. 
and now the leaf blower is hurling insults at his team <laughs> in capital letters. <laughs> <laughs> so so far we've learned <laughs> Bob team <laughs> times the tiger <laughs> okay okay let's <laughs> four fun players <laughs> times the <laughs> okay lesson number one this is a game in case any of you have not noticed yet uh, we are <laughs> we are watching some pe people play a game now let's get serious for a minute for a minute here <clears throat> okay, now, uh, seriously here. The Tiger is in a very good position right now. <laughs> Unfortunately, most of his team has already died, but he is in a very good position. This position right here is a good defensive position. He's got topography in front of him, protecting him from those people that have won the Northwest high ground. And he's also got rocks here, which he can use as cover while he snipes people. Uh, well, he got snapshot by a Russian tank there, but he can... Uh, uh, provide cover in both directions from this position. There is an area around here that's pretty uh, good for defense. Now, now, the KV-1S at the beginning of this game also went to a fairly uh, important area on this map. Uh, unfortunately, he went there by himself. <laughs> and somehow, somehow, even though he went there by himself, the rest of his team also died. So we are watching and witnessing a team of Muppets. <laughs> But as you will continue to witness here, the Tiger, in this defensive position, is now trying to <laughs> win single-handedly versus an enemy team of Muppets. Alright, alright, we're getting back to getting serious here. Uh, as the KV-1S was moving forward, if people had followed him and they moved into that northwest hilly area in force, they may have dominated that area and actually won this game. Easily. Or... Vice versa, if the KV-1S, as he was heading there, realized, oh my god, I'm on a team of Muppets, none of them are following me, maybe it would be better for me to turn around and uh, move back to this ridge line, which is a good defensive position, and let the enemies have that high ground and try and defend here. I maintain, <laughs> my expert opinion is, that if they had done things together, one way or another, it doesn't really matter if they went to the northwest or if they stayed here, but if they did it together... I think that maybe they would have won this game. <laughs> and now the Tiger. <laughs> you see? <laughs> He's not done. He's not done. He's hanging on. Can he win this game? He might actually win. Look at... Oh, we... Blocked by armor. Press number two. Press number two. Increase your skill level. Uh, oh, it ricocheted. He's playing like a boss. There's another one. Take him out. He's gonna win it. It's, he's got seven kills. Can he take this... Oh, here comes another guy. Can he take him out? Oh boy, he's... Ah, uh, well. <laughs> well, <laughs> lesson number one. <laughs> a strong position is not strong if you go there by yourself and have no support. The KV-1S should have learned that. Lesson number two. Running away at the beginning of the game uh, <laughs> is probably not a good idea either. But uh, number three, uh, if, if everyone does the same thing, either run away or move forward, it's probably a good idea. Uh, which one of these two guys had the right idea? Uh, well, n neither of them, because they didn't do it together. Let's watch the next game. Oop, go-to guy from the BDF clan. Shout out to you guys! He's in his SU, 1.30 p.m. And he is certain that he has discovered the best position for a TD on this map. And I'm serious about the previous map. The, the current meta, in all seriousness, is that you should win that northwest hilly area on that map. You should go there in force, even if you spawn at the bottom. Go up there, win that... And after you win that, you dominate all the high ground and you can easily mop up the rest of the, the game. But uh, how many times does the team do that together? Almost never! So you have to change your tactics. If you're that KV-1S heading to the what is the known meta best position and you see that no one is going with you, don't go there! Turn around! Set up a defense somewhere else. You have to change your tactic depending on what your team is doing was the moral of that uh, ridiculous story that we watched. And now we're going to watch Oop Go To Guy who was driven into the middle of the map in the water and was wallowing around in the swamp in his TD. Which is probably the worst place you could possibly go on this map. Why is it the worst place you could possibly go? Because, well, if he gets detected here, he's dead immediately. Because anyone that's on those railroad tracks down there could just kill him. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> but let's watch this game. Because as I said in the intro, there is no right or wrong 
Oh, wait a minute. I didn't say that. <laughs> I said there was no right. There's no overpowered, guaranteed win, holy grail position. There are, however, stupid positions, and this is one of them. <laughs> but, but, every now and then, even a stupid position works. So what the hell is this video about? Well, I'm not really sure, but let's just watch as he takes out this scout tank with his Russian uh, overpowered pay-to-win TD. And he is spotted now, and he should die in about 10 seconds. If there was artillery in this game, he would be dead. Oh, wait a minute, there is artillery in this game. They're not shooting. Oh, now they're shooting him. He's dead. He's dead immediately. Uh, no, he's not, because... <laughs> Why isn't he dead? Well, uh, because he's spotted in the middle of the swamp and none of the enemies want to go and shoot him. <laughs> Look at the minimap. Look at the southeast corner of the minimap. You see that? The green team didn't even move down the rails. <laughs> the enemy team has total control of the rails. <laughs> they should see him and easily be able to kill him. But none of them are looking his way. <laughs> even when he fires his gun and gets spotted, they don't care. They're just scurrying around like little rodents. Look, he's in the water trying to drown himself to help them, but they don't care. They know he's here. He was spotted. They know he's got one of the biggest guns on the enemy team, and he's probably worth killing. <laughs> but do you think any of them care? This is why going to a guaranteed, overpowered, winning position doesn't always work. And in fact, let me digress here a little bit while you watch the excitement that's about to unfold here. In clan wars or in the, the higher levels, there are certain, uh, quote-unquote, those Unicom uh, overpowered starting positions that you get to see on those videos every now. I'm not kidding. You, you get to see those Unicoms that put out those videos, uh, and they go to this one particular spot. They have to rush there. It's, it's practically in the middle of the map, but it has a bush and a rock and some cover, and they've got a, a full concealment crew, and they're running food, and they've got six other skills on their commander, and... Uh, they're practically invisible and uh, they, they hit every shot and they don't get detected and they dominate the game a and they spot everyone and the enemy team doesn't even know they're spotted because they're all Muppets. They're all starting the game. They don't have sixth sense. They don't even know where to go. And you watch that video and you go, wow, that is an overpowered position. Then you watch a clan war or a higher level uh, a skirmish where there's really good players playing against really good players. And as soon as one team starts driving across uh, some area and one of them gets spotted, they let their team know, oh, I'm spotted. There must be someone in that uh, overpowered bush right there. They all stop and blind shoot the bush and kill whoever is stupid enough to go to that bush. So all of these, uh, you know, fail safe, great overpowered positions that you might think work. It, as soon as you get into the higher levels, everyone knows them. Everyone knows how to counter them. If you go there, on some servers, the players are so good that if you happen to go to a certain bush on a certain map and one of the team on the uh, one of the players on the enemy team gets spotted and lets his team know, artillery will just bombard that bush and you'll be killed. So what's the best advice that I could give you? What's the best advice that I could give you for the regular schmo? Well, here it is. When the game starts, start moving to where you think you can help your team best, but don't be completely committed to going to that position. As you're on your way, look at that mini-map. It's that square thing in the bottom right corner. Uh, you see that there, which has the green dots and the purple dots? My dots are purple because uh, uh, I've set it at colorblind mode. So all you uh, fans that are watching that are colorblind can actually tell the difference. Most of you probably have red dots and green dots. Well, look at that! Look at that mini-map. And if you notice that you're heading in a certain direction that you think is the best place to go, and the, all of your team, is going in the opposite direction, well then stop and think. What's going to happen to me if I keep going to my favorite spot? My whole team is going the other way. You're probably going to die like a Muppet. And you won't be on one of those Unicom videos uh, de describing the optimal OP Holy Grail position. You'll go to the same spot, but you will die. So look at the minimap and readjust your, uh, uh, your direction and your path and your strategy depending on what your teammates are doing. If all of your teammates start retreating uh, uh, in that first game, if all your teammates start retreating immediately from that northwest position, well, uh, you know, you just have to say, okay, this is the way it's going to go. Retreat with them and set up a defense on the next ridge line. Maybe the enemies will be stupid enough to push aggressively over that, thinking they've won, and they'll, and they'll just run into that ambush you've set up. Games can be won in many different ways. Look at this guy. Look, he's in the middle of the swamp. Uh, completely exposed in the open 
and no one's even oh he's finally someone's looking at uh, yeah <laughs> might as well drive further into the swamp now i'm telling you if you do this in your td or light tank or medium tank on this map in any tank nine times out of ten you will be dead in the first minute <laughs> and i hope i hope oop go to guy uh, that you don't try this every game because uh, this one is going to work out for you look at him he's on top he's got he couldn't even get top gun here let's let's cheer for him we want you to get top gun buddy but if you try this a hundred times on this map in a row you will die a miserable <laughs> horrible quick death uh, back to the garage within the first minute and a half 99 times out of 100 because you're in the middle of the swamp <laughs> and as soon as you get spotted artillery will kill you or people along the rails will kill you in this particular case <laughs> and that's why we love this game because it's so hard to predict you're not playing against a computer you're not playing against a predictable uh, uh, artificial intelligence you're playing against Muppets <laughs> morons <laughs> and the occasional good player and you have no idea what they're going to do what are the enemies doing who knows <laughs> they all went down the rails they all had clear shots into the swamp no one shot oop go to guy <laughs> he doesn't have a camo net uh, maybe he's got a good crew maybe he's got good concealment but he was spotted numerous times no one shot him why nobody knows why <laughs> That's why there's no one overpowered spot. There is no Holy Grail. The knights uh, looked for it. You know, they, they scoured the earth searching for the answer, the Holy Grail. And what happened? Uh, I don't know. I didn't watch that movie. But they didn't find it. And th th they got tired and they wandered back to the castle. And, you know, they didn't look. They looked pretty rough, I'll tell you, after it was all done. And the, the quest didn't. Maybe I should watch the movie. I, I can't remember what happened. But uh, <laughs> look at this. They're going to... Well, how much damage does this guy... Let's get back to the game. He's got 3,600. <laughs> well, it partly has to do with the fact that his gun does a lot of damage. Um, and it caught... You know, because he had to buy this tank. And most of the other guns on the enemy team don't do very much damage. <laughs> so he hasn't had to take a lot of shots. But let's just end this uh, uh, cheering for him. Come on, go-to guy. Is he going to get this kill? He spent the whole game in the swamp, and now he's moving forward. He's going to get the kill. Come on. Oh, I see what's happening. The T-37 is gifting him Top Gun. Look at this. Way to go. Huh? Now that's a teammate. Way to go, buddy. Let's check out the post-game stats here. And he titled this a good position for a TD. And, uh, well, it is a good position for a TD if uh, no one shoots you. And uh, the no bullshit analysis here is that every position on the map is a good position if no one shoots you. <laughs> but any position you go is easily countered by an opposite position that some smart enemy may take. And uh, let's face it, there's no holy grail. Keep watching those Unicom videos. You know, maybe you'll get better, but maybe not. Maybe just realize that for a regular schmo, you just have to look at the map and change your tactics and roll with the punches. That's the Klaus Kellerman no bullshit map positioning advice.